This should fit. Obsessed. Wait, see. What are you watching? All these out of towners that come to the beach in jeans and trainers. Come on then. <laughs> so we've come down to Mainport Beach again. A few videos ago I actually mentioned the Ben Asdale shipwreck, so we're gonna snorkel out to there today. I've got my mate Brendan with me. Um, you may remember him from the from previous videos, he's been in a few. Mate, what's that? <laughs> so, as he's representing my t-shirt, this is Brendan jumping. I'll be honest with you, he's a bit of a narcissist. So this Ben Asdale shipwreck is literally just around the corner here. We're going to snorkel out to it. It is low tide at the minute, so I'm not snorkel? sure. Yeah, we're snorkeling. I can't swim. You'll be fine. You'll be, you'll be fine, mate. It's like low tide. Yeah, here. <laughs> there. So anyway, before we head out, I'm going to send the drone over just so we can map the area. joking though when you said you couldn't swim right I'm not worried about your safety um, we'll probably get out there it's like knee-deep by the looks of it so I've, I've, uh, I can yeah the swimming pool in a controlled environment I can swim are you taking the mic? Nah. it's the wrong way round mate I'm not always a little bit tight <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't intentional either he actually did put it on the wrong way <laughs> It's starting to rain, so we're going to switch to the GoPro. Is that better? Yeah. Which one? Let me just check, make sure it's the right way. Yeah, right on. <laughs> yeah, now, I don't know whether... I mean, if you don't know how to put a wetsuit on right, then how are you going <laughs> to... It's starting to worry me now. You're, um... You're alright with sharks and that as well, mate, yeah? Sharks, fine. Just out of St. Jaws. I know what I'm doing. Um, do you say the sea was at its hottest this time of year? Warmest, yeah. I'd never, I'd, I'd never use the words hot, but... Warmest then. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it feels quite cold right now on my feet. So. Yeah, but you climatise once you get in. Do you just want to uh, like find your feet with it? Just get, get your gear on and see how you get on. You don't have to take that. Uh, we call them fins as well in the business. It doesn't matter, I don't think. So literally, just sit down, slip them on like slippers, but with an F. What is that? They're called fins. That's cold. Same place I woke up this morning. <laughs> so the shipwreck is literally just over there. That's what I pointed out earlier. It's not that far, mate. I know it looks far, but it, it's not that far. Yeah, Can't breathe through my nose. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be afraid of it. There's a few waves out here, but it's not. It's not too choppy. We literally, we are in that deep water at the moment. So by the time we get over there, I don't think it's going to be. It's not going to be that deep, mate. Confidence. <laughs> it's hard work, man. <laughs> Literally never ever done this in my life. 
So sometimes when it's when you have a stressful day at work or anything like that, I just like to come out here, put my fins on, put my snorkel on, just literally go for a, a snorkel around. Especially this time of year, it's October the 1st today and it's so tranquil and there's literally nobody here. So anybody that knows Mainporth Beach well and you don't live around here, you're probably not used to seeing it this quiet. If you want to have a rest before we get around to the side, we'll do it over there. Any last words, like maybe if someone finds this footage, uh, I leave my house and all of my debt to my nieces and nephew. <laughs> He's still convinced we're gonna die. He might, I mean, I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> we got to survive this because you've got a blind date tonight. Oh yeah. Right, I can partially see it. It's literally right over there. Past the seagulls. We might have to get out and walk. <laughs> there. It's fine. The thing is, you can't... I'm not sure whether it's going to show up on the camera because it's almost like camouflaged in with the rocks, but... We're gonna head our way over there. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure how deep this water is, is here, but we'll either walk it or we will float it. We'll float up and we'll baby call it. Yeah. Like I said, high tide's not till about five, so yeah. just gotta be careful not to get stuck here because that's where we're gonna have to go up those rocks. You should have what? Should have practiced in the back. <laughs> Okay, we've made it, and it's pretty, pretty impressive, isn't it? That's, that's some, uh, that's some wreck. So what I'm gonna do is um, just show you around. Don't just show them around. Make it as picturesque as you can. All right. You alright? Yeah, I don't look elegant. I only want to look elegant on this video. I thought I'd give you the flippers to look after. <laughs> they're on the, they're, they're, that's the gear. Fingers crossed we don't get stuck out here now that you've got the, the flippers. The flippers are fine. The fins. The fins are fine. I had to correct him earlier, now I'm saying that. <laughs> so, this is the Ben Asdale wreck. I don't really have any facts about it, but it... Picks them up. We had to snorkel around here. Um, there is another way down where you literally come down the rocks, but that looks like 100% like a deadly thing to do. Like snorkeling. Yeah, how, how did you find it anyway, mate? Getting... I, got, I got better at the end. I just realised you just had a panic. Don't panic, you just do it. No panicking, keep swimming, like Dory says. Yeah. I mean, as a comparison to the the last wreck, as a comparison to the last wreck I did, the RMS Moheim, this is obviously more submerged in water, so it's not as big a ship for a start, but at the same time, there's, you know, there's lots of debris here to look at. When did it, when, when did it run aground? Like I said, no facts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were really saying that. <laughs> what would you say to, I mean, I know we did, I asked you how you got on with your, your snorkeling for the first time. Is it something you're gonna wanna do again, is what I'm saying? I'd do it again, now that, I, now that I've um, had, you know, 10 minutes of practice swimming out there, I'd do it again. <laughs> I would say, this was probably not the best place <laughs> to bring him for the first time he's been snorkeling. 
but it's, you've managed it, mate. And I've done it. I've made it. We're I'm not going to get stranded here. And the worst case scenario is we will climb over the rocks if we can't make it back. Let's shut down. A few war injuries. I've just cut my hand and my leg. Fell over, and you didn't even get it on camera either. I just which, turned it off. Sorry. So I think it's time to head back. Are you ready? Yeah. It's not the easiest of steps. So I think we came in that way. Could be wrong. <laughs> so let's just make a point this is twice now this is the second one of these i've had free what's the brand i don't know it's off amazon i think i need to get the proper gopro one when we were first coming back i uh, first felt really comfortable with it you kicked me in the face <laughs> do you want do you want me to blur your body out uh can you how good are you at cgi can you put <laughs> He's drying his feet, honestly. <laughs> right, let's get ready for the date then. Brendan, you ready? Yeah, just up. This is the situation we've got. <laughs> and that wasn't planned either. <laughs> How's your blind date going, Brendan? <laughs> 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 